The group that claimed responsibility for the airport gate attack last week is called ISIS-K. It's a terrorist organization linked to the core terrorist group ISIS. But it isn't the same. Matt Gregory with our Verified team verifies what is ISIS-K. According to our research, this is a terrorist group the U.S. has known about for several years. Our military has carried out attacks against them, but it's also a group the Taliban has fought hundreds of times. Terrorists attacked that we've been talking about and worried about that the intelligence community has assessed, uh, has undertaken <clears throat> an attack by a group known as ISIS-K. Let's verify, what is ISIS-K? Our sources are the U.S. Department of State, the Georgetown University think tank, the Center for Strategic and International Studies, and Marine Corps General Kenneth McKenzie from the United States Central Command. According to the State Department, ISIS-K formed in Afghanistan around 2014. It contains ex-members of the Taliban. The group pledged allegiance to the core ISIS in 2015 and became an affiliate. And in 2016, they were designated a foreign terror group by the State Department. You're probably wondering, what does the K stand for? That's the location where they operate, Khorasan. That's the historic name of the region that includes parts of Iran, Afghanistan, and Pakistan. Research from the Center for Strategic and International Studies shows how they operate. Since its creation, ISIS-K has carried out deadly attacks on Afghan civilians, U.S. troops, and even the Taliban. That's right, this CSIS report says the two groups have clashed more than 200 times. The Taliban and ISIS-K are fighting for control of Afghanistan, and that explains why following Thursday's attacks, the U.S. government and the Taliban are now working together. We've reached out to the Taliban. We've told them you, you need to continue to push out the security perimeter. We've identified some roads that we would like for them to close. They've identified that they'll, they will be willing to close those roads. While the core group of ISIS has weakened, ISIS-K is just one of the many affiliates that are still active. There are affiliate groups operating in Bangladesh, West Africa, and even the Philippines. With your Verify, I'm Matt Gregory.